Hey there everyone, welcome to ASP, the first ASP2 video. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, this is um, ASP2. Thank you to all you guys who have pre-ordered ASP2. Um, hopefully, you know, there's a little bit of, it's not just all pie in the sky, it is it is coming. Um, the, this is the first sample PCB I was sent. Um, I managed to get it working, even though it had things around the wrong way. Uh, and so I thought I'd kick off some of the videos because I'm sure when the, all the units arrive, I'll be busy packaging, packaging them up and sending them off to you. So the first thing I want to run through in this video are all the different recoil options you have on ASP2 because I've added a few more in. Okay, um, at the moment I've got the tank on, the motor switched off, I've got the volume turned down because the inactivity alarm will come on and, and, and ruin the video probably. So first up, we'll run through one of these things. Now, I'm sure many of you are familiar with this, you've seen these guys before. Now, there are instructions on the website on how to rewire these. They do not need to be as complicated as they are from the factory. You can rewire them into a simple three-pin plug, which plugs into the recoil port of ASP here. Okay, now, um, there's something special I've added to this port, and I'll talk about that very soon. But I'll just show you this guy in operation. You plug him in, in there, and, and then we'll fire. Okay, mode's a little bit sticky. Okay, let's fire again. As soon as the reload, reload, there we go. Okay, so that's how you get this guy to operate on ASP2. Okay, now I'm gonna stop the video here and show you the next recoil option. Okay guys, I've taken the uh, Juno board off ASP to um, start talking about what I've done with this recoil port. Okie dokie, um, some of you guys will be familiar now with the new Tajan, and this is one here, uh, the, the recoil system that they have with your Airsoft, the Airsoft recoil, which is basically a type of servo um, scenario here. We have a, this little controller operating a servo in the turret. Okay, now, that servo operates, as most servos do, on 5 volts. The supply here for this motor is battery voltage. So what I've done is I've added a little jumper. If you can see it here, I mean it'll, it'll be more apparent on, on your board obviously when you get it. Now there's a little jumper here that you can select between battery voltage and five volts. And there was enough space to put the, the markings on the board. So you'll have to refer to this video or some of the website stuff. Okay, if you're going to use the servo style recoil that Tajin now have with their airsoft units, you need to move this jumper from the battery position, which is for this guy, to the 5 volt position. So it just goes across one. So you pull him out and you just move him across one. Okay, and that's in the 5 volt position now. In that position now, you can attach your your um, you know, your IMEX servo system here. Now, I'll have to do some other videos, but basically it operates almost identical to the way servo, uh, my servo board operates. We have a power supply and a signal wire. Now, the main difference is the signal to trigger the servo in here is actually triggers to ground. With um, my servo board, which is hanging out here, there we go. That guy there, well, he triggers usually when you go high, so to positive. So what I've done is, because this is triggering to low, it made sense to put the IMEX uh, system onto this, this port here. Uh, so you identify the positive and negative leads. As you hear, red is positive, the black is the negative, and the signal lead. It's, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, I can, sh as I said, there'll be another video to show you how to do that. But uh, I've put a bit of yellow shrink tube on there so I know which is which. And this just connects up such that the signal wire is to the outside of the board for a change. Um, normally I'd have a JST connection, but I just want to show you it in operation. So you connect him up in there. Um, the other thing I've done, and it'll save me redoing another video is that I've gone back to giving you 
ability to just plug a servo into the board directly and have recoil. You know, previously you had to have servo to do the recoil. Um, servo is a, is a better option because you can control all the parameters, but I've changed this port here on the underside of the Juno board to a direct servo connection. So here's a, here's a servo, okay, and he now connects with the signal wire closest to the Mako chip there, like that. Okay, so we'll have a look at that in the next video snippet, but you can now connect a servo directly to, to Juno for servo recoil. Okie dokie. Now let's uh, attach him back on. There we go. Okay, we'll turn, we'll fire everything up. Okay, now let's fire the tank and we'll see him in operation. There we go. And again, we'll wait for the recoil. Hey, sorry about that. Just a quick edit of the video to get that in better position so you can see the flash and the recoil. Um, here we go. Now, you've got to remember that this is the action provided here. It's not provided by ASP, it is provided by the IMEX unit. Okay, so if you don't like the way that operates, and that, that's not a fault of, of, of ASP at all, it's just triggering the action that is 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 what the IMAX unit does. So here we go. Here we go. So that's um, triggering the servo recoil for your um, IMAX units featuring, well that's for Airsoft. So if you had an Airsoft unit, um, that would be how you would trigger the, the recoil for your Airsoft. Okay, so that's that recoil option. Let's move along.